Okay everyone, welcome to another edition of Yorkie Three Stripe. Second part of the Adidas Special Spring Summer 24 collection landed. It's here and I've got one. The Todd Morden, the Dark Navy, Night Navy, it came out. Probably the most anticipated Special release I'd say in a long time. One of the most anticipated releases in the 10 years that Special have been going. Um, partly due to a certain Mr. Liam Gallagher wearing the white one and the navy um, himself. A white one appeared now then, a good six months ago I want to say. And since then there's been a build up of rumour. People thought it was just a sample. But then of course we got confirmation about a month before release or six weeks that it wasn't a sample. Well, that one particularly maybe was, but that was obviously an idea in the making. And sure enough, the white one was released with the Night Navy, or the Navy. Um, of course, it's the third Todd Mord, second and third Todd Morden release after the Red, what was released back in 2019, 2020. Um, personally, I, I had the Red, and uh, I, I, Red's not for me. Uh, most people who know my football team will probably understand why. And I just don't suit red. Um, I had it. I love the fit of it. But it just wasn't for me. So I moved on, actually, quite recently. Um, the white one, as much as I love white, uh, I love navy, but I love white as well. I was 50 this year, and I'm just not really thinking I'd be able to pull it off, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Practicalities as well. I think I'd be forever cleaning it. Um, I don't know. I was quite happy with just the navy. It's lovely, 27 inches pit to pit. I knew the large would fit me because I had the Todd in in red. Um, so there we go, let's just have a quick pause since everyone else is pausing with them. Um, this is it, you've got the bit of the baggie at the back. Your pockets obviously bring it in. Can you see that? But obviously you've got your ties to bring this in. Uh, some people like it baggier. I could even go a little bit tighter it's the perfect fit for me, the large. Um, some people were saying, be careful, get the medium, but I knew it was the same size as the red Todmorden. Uh, so I went for the large and, and it's fine. Um, can be worn in many ways. Some people like it hanging out. Obviously you've got your, your, your standard pocket smock. Uh, comparison was made with the red. You had the, the actual trim. They added a special trim on the red one. You don't have it with these two, um, but hey, whatever. Um, elastic cuffs, the embroidered uh, mod trefoil, and uh, again, the Adidas Special lo label there. It's a lovely top. Um, I would say certainly more designed, for, obviously, for spring and summer, hence why it was released in the spring and summer. For me, the Brumler edges it. Um, the Brumler, for me, is the best smock Adidas have done as a special I've done, again went large, a little bit more durable, but obviously people have got one of these uh, will know that this is more an autumn, winter smock, uh, certainly a lot thicker, and you can see obviously the, 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 I can't remember the material, like a rubber inlay there. So for me, the Brumler takes some beating, but listen, I love the Tobberden, and it's something I'll be wearing, uh, as everyone is who's got it. Now, everyone thinks it was the fourth smock release obviously the three todd and the brumler before but i make it actually seven smocks that special have brought out um six smocks but also a smock jumper um the egg birth i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right apologies if i'm not the nylon well certainly the the it's like a it's a shimmy it's more of they call it an anorak the egg birth that came out in i think 2016 the egg birth was it 18? That came out in 2018. I'd call that a smock. It hasn't got a pocket on the front. Does that make it a smock? I don't know. I think that's what makes it a smock. The tie there. Um, lovely jacket. That was a smock for me. 2018 egg birth. We've already got the Brumler. We've got the fat three Todmodens. But also the Tuck Hole. Now again, called an Anorak. Released in 2024. I personally would call that a smock as well. For me, if it's just button there or a tie, there you go. A lovely piece that 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 came in a large, true to size, 2014. 
Uh, for me, that would be a smock. I guess officially, you've got the four. The three Todmerden and the Brolmaner. But you've also got the Chilcot smock, which classes as a jumper. Massive fit, these. This came out in 2016. Uh, this is actually a medium. This is a medium. One of the few items of clothing that I have. What is a medium? Um, there's the Chilcot shorts, which which match this, but I've never worn it as a two-piece. It's not really my thing, that. Again, probably a bit old for two pieces. Does pull. You've got to be very careful. But I've wore that. So comfy. Now, that is a smock. So you could say officially there's five smocks. The three toddies, the brumler in this. But, of course, this isn't a coat or a jacket. It is officially a jumper. But that is a lovely piece. If you ever get a chance to get one, do. But size down twice, not once. I know a lot of people have sized down twice with the toddies. But for me, um, it suits me. Uh, it fits me. I hope it suits me. It fits me uh, fine, uh, one size down. So there we go. That is the much anticipated toddy. Um, I like, as I say, the blue. I know a lot of guys want to get all three. I'm a completist. I get it. But for me, I'm not going to wear the red. I'm not going to wear the white. Um, so I'm going to leave that. If I was absolutely made of money, and have the other two as well. But I'm, I'm, I'm not going to wear them. And now I'm sort of keeping things I wear. If I keep something for a year and I don't wear it, I sell it. And that's that's kind of my ethos now. Um, and it's 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 kind of sensible. Um, and you get into, I'm getting to an age where I start, probably need to be a bit more sensible. I've probably got too much of the Spezial range, to be honest with you. But um, I'll, I'll, I'll see how things go and sometimes I move things on. Um, and as I say, I had the Todd Bud in red and I sold it because it just, it wasn't getting worn and I thought somebody else could enjoy it. So, excuse me. This one's coming off. There's the toddy. Now, that leads us on to the white polo. Now, I'm not sure about the white polo. I'm not really sure about, well, I've not got the blue one, so I can't compare. I got this in XL because on the last collection, um, the autumn winter 23, I got the navy long sleeve. Now, I got that in XL. Fits me perfectly. I love it. One of my favourite polos, that. I'm always wearing it, it's got like a stretchy material and if you've got it, you'll know. And this has kind of got that same material, but for me, I just, I'm just i just not feeling it. I don't know what it is. Um, I've lost some weight, but not that much. I just find it quite boxy. It's not fitting me properly, this one does. I've done the pit to pit on them. I always do it myself, I don't take anyone's word for it. The pit to pit is 25 inches on this. That was 24 and a half, but just over, so hardly anything in it. But for some reason, I don't know. I don't know. There's just something not fitting right for me. So maybe like an idiot, I've gone and ordered a large. Um, just for peace of mind. The large will probably not fit me. Um, I've not even checked what the pit to pit is on that. Lovely shirt. Um, I thought it'd be more of a creamy biscuit colour as well. I'm not really digging the white. So I think I might move this on. If the large fits me better, of course I'll move this on. Um, but if the large is too tight, and I think it probably will be, I'm not even sure I'm going to keep this. So it might be a polo that I'm just going to lose. But for other people, I get it. The lovely. It's lovely. It's a really nice top. It's a lovely polo. I've got a lot of polos. Um, the price point on this was 70, which I think is fine for a polo. I mean, I like Paul and Shark. I paid double for, for I've paid double for a Paul and Shark uh, polo. I've paid more than 70 for a Paul and Shark t-shirt. Um, I like Bellstaff. That's a make I've been wearing a lot more recently. And certainly Bellstaff polos fetch a similar price. Um, but this just feels a bit boxy, a little bit baggy for me. Um, I don't want to mess about with tailors, getting it brought in and things like that, because I've done that in the past. And I just think, I don't know, it's just a waste of time and money for me. Especially if I want to sell something on, then you're talking about others. You know, it's such a particular size you're making it and you're bottlenecking it. And it's not going to be suitable for hardly anybody. Um, so that's something I'm, I'm sort of a little bit underwhelmed with, the, certainly the fit. But the price, the quality is is lovely. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, so that's that. The smock at 220, let's face it, a good jacket now. Um, again, other manufacturers, Bellstaff, Paul and Shark, Stone Island, you're paying certainly over that. Um, I mean, the price point for most Spezial coats and jackets is about one. 40 to about 250 given the 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 smock there's not many of them as in they've not released many of them um i think that's about right 
I don't think you can really argue with that. What obviously you don't want to see is properties going on eBay and adding 100, in some cases, £200 onto it. But hopefully that'll start lowering. There's been enough made. Um, I've just seen some guys have been let down at Consortium, which is a bit poor show, I think. I and mean, a week later, I mean, it's Thursday. Last Thursday was the release, and they've had to wait a week for the for their item they've been told they were successful and then they pull it at the last minute so i get i get their frustration i'd be gutted partly why i went with, with um, a german site knowing how to pay customs but i knew i was going to get a few items so i was kind of getting my money's worth so yeah it's, it's frustrating and i hope those guys who've missed out will pick one up um as i say i'm sure they'll, they will there's been plenty made i mean you've only got to go on ebay and see the amount of navy and white ones to know there's plenty to go around. Um, and as I say, eBay have, have reduced the their, their 12%, what they normally take now. They've reduced that to, to zero. So you sell any, any item of clothing now on eBay, you get a lot. So surely that'll make people bring the price down. I've done it myself when I've sold on eBay. I bump a little bit on to allow for that 12% to come off, if you like. Um, but now that isn't there, hopefully people will start. There's a bit of parity and the, the, the sales prices will be a bit more realistic. Uh, I'm not taking the P. So that's that. Talking on sizes as well. Um, if you watched my last video, I got the shorts. Um, all my other shorts that I have are XL. So I went XL with the Rossendale shorts that just came out. But they're elasticated waist. And I just feel as though the, any little inch of weight that I'm going to lose, which I'm planning on doing, by the way, um, they're just going to fall off. There's no belt loops to put a belt on either. Because that would make it, well, okay, at least I've got a belt on. Um, so I've ordered a large in the Rossendale shorts. So I'll keep you posted on that. Um, I'm about a 36 waist. Extra large is usually 36 to 38. Um, large is about 34 to 36. All my other Spezial shorts, I've got seven. Six of them are um, buttoned waist. And they're XL. But the one pair of, of Spezial shorts that I have in a large is the Durrington. They're the bright blue Durrington. Now they've got an elasticated waist and they're the only ones I've got large. It's because you've got that bit of give naturally. You can you can maybe get a smaller size. So hopefully uh, the large Rossendale will fit me. And again, uh, well, I won't move the XLs on because I've, I've gone back to seven store with them wanting an exchange. So hopefully that will be sorted. Um, if not, I might just write them off because I've got the um, I've got Portinax Portinax shorts which are sort of beige. Um, but anyway, nice nice shorts, not my favourite. Um, but if they are large fit, I'll keep them. So that's that. Um, the socks, the socks, very very in demand. Again, I got I went on that German site overkill, got them. Nice navy blue with the the trefoil stitched on. The two the uh, three stripes of course. Spezial on the foot. I particularly like these. They're like a biscuit colour. You can see that because you can see the white there contrast. Really nice. Um, I've seen these on a few people on Instagram and Facebook putting them on and they look good actually. I'm not really a, a high sock man with trainers wearing shorts. I tend to wear the little socks where you don't see it. So you're flashing your ankles. I've not got great ankles to flash but I just find it always looks better than wearing them. But maybe I need to get with the times and go with them sort of socks. Now I've got Spezial socks. Hey, doesn't matter what you look like. If you've got your Spezial, flaunt it. So those were a really, um, they're sacred. They're, they're going for crazy money on eBay. And I know a lot of people are after them, but sorry, I'm keeping these. I'm going to try and get down with the kids and wear a good length sock instead of wearing those little things. Um, the other jacket I've gone for, which is the Trentham. Um, now this, I wasn't sure about. I wasn't sure about this at all. Um, I saw a guy on Instagram wearing it. Uh, Del Cleveland. He's a bit of a celebrity in the Spezial world. Little guy, wears a cap, Brentford fan. We all have our uh, crosses to bear. But anyway, he, uh, he, I saw him wearing it. And it, this looks really nice. Um, the collar was putting me off. The young model is what Spezial use. I've really got to say Spezial. The majority of the guys who, who buy Spezial are over a certain age. I, I'm not being cruel by saying over 35. These guys modeling the Spezial stuff, they look about 18. Uh, and they look about eight stone wet. So I think that also maybe 
affects people's decisions. So maybe just get a bit of an older range models to wear them. I'll, I'll do it. You know what I mean? But no, on a serious note, um, this is lovely. I'm going to put it on. I'm going to put it on show you. This is, reminds me a bit of the West German jacket, um, colour wise. But I think this is nice. It's a large, it is 24 inch pit to pit. So it's the usual Spezial sizing. You go down a size and you're usually in, you're doing it right. Um, very, very nice spring summer. I can imagine myself sat with this on in the beer garden, having a, an IPA. I'll stand up again to give you a better idea. It's elastic waisted, elastic cuffed. You've got a little bit, a bit of room. As I say, this is a large. Love the front pockets, really nice. Again, criticism, because you've got to criticise some things. You can't be happy with everything. They should have done the side pockets and they didn't do those. Failure, that is a fail. Because most people love a front pocket. I think they look nice, but a side pocket would be a nice alternative. Um, but they do what they do. And there's a reason for it. They know more than we do. Um, lovely little, obviously, the, the mod trefoil there. Stitch there. And I like the collar. I think it's all right. Actually, it's got a tracksuit top feel to it, but it is a jacket. Um, you can you can put the collar up as well, if you wish, like that. I think that looks actually quite smart. It's the first time I've done that. Um, so you've got the option. And it's nice. It's a nice cotton feel to it. Price point, 170 I think for a jacket of this quality, I think it is fine. Given in, bear in mind the Lawton cardigan, what came out in autumn, winter 23, was £170. This is the same price for me. No brainer. Much better value for money, this. I like the Lawton cardigan, but for me, that was £50 overpriced. But this is lovely. As I say, nice waist, and I'll be wearing this, well, this weekend. I might even be sporting this, and I'll certainly be taking it on holiday with me. Um, so the Trentham jacket, not getting a lot of hype. Um, as I say, maybe because of the model they used, <laughs> maybe because they put it with the shorts, I think, which looked a bit weird. Um, but listen, take my word for it. This is lovely. And hopefully I'll start a stampede now because these are in stock everywhere from, from what I've seen, from when I've gone on anyway. Um, so this was um, a separate order. I got this from Seven Store as well just the other day after seeing somebody wearing it. I thought, right, I'll get it. And I'm not sending this back. I'm definitely keeping this. Um, so that's pretty much where I'm at. I've got my Mostens. Da -da, beautiful, that's all I'll say. But I'm going to do the Mostens in a separate video, another video. So there's a part three. God, God, he'd be saying. But I've also got the Wensleys coming. That was another um, purchase on the back of seeing other people um, on social media showing them off. I thought, oh, I want a bit of them. They're lovely. I love beige, uh, the creamy colour. I love the side, the fact that they've got the three stripes on one side, the suede on the other. Uh, I think they might go well with these uh, and various other special items. So they're coming. So I'll do the Wensleys and the Mostons in a separate video. Might have one or two other little bits as well. And that's us. So that's my second video. Thanks so much for all the support I'm getting. Absolutely overwhelmed with it. Uh, my subs have been flying up. Uh, I got a shout out by the Annex on his podcast. Thanks, mate. Thanks a lot, mate. Danny, top man, another Yorkshireman. So what, what, you, what do you expect? Um, and I'll keep doing the videos. As long as people keep watching them and wanting them, I'll keep doing them. So fantastic. Hope you're all enjoying the good weather. We're getting some good weather for a change. Um, hope the guys who are lost out in consortium managed to find a smock. Um, it's, it's not easy, but keep with it and uh, keep lucky. Keep it special. Until next time, cheerio.